Today we're taking a look at the installation of Linux Mint Debian Edition 7 GG Beta, which just came available. Let's get started. We're currently on the 9 to 5 Linux page. They've got a little article about the beta being available and we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click on this and we're going to copy the link, jump over to Proxmox, Go into ISO images, download from URL, paste that in. So one of the biggest features of the beta version and ultimately the release version is that Linux Mint Debian Edition will now have feature parity with the mainstream Linux Mint in that the OEM install is now available. So that's really a big feature, something I've been looking for. So we'll have to uh, test that out as well. All right, task is complete. Let's go ahead and create a new VM. All right, let's see what happens. And look at that. We've got all the options we are used to seeing. Let's just go ahead and start LMDE. Reach the desktop. And see if the installer starts automatically. Does not appear that it's going to, which is fine. We have network connection, which is great. Kick off the installer, LMDE7, let's go. Very nice. America, Detroit, English. Next, automated installation, select our disk. We're not going to use LVM. We're not going to manually partition at this point. Yes. No partition table is found on the hard drive. Do you want the installer to create a set of partitions? Yes. Install Grub on dev SDA. That's perfect and recap install and we'll be back when we're ready to restart all right we're ready to reboot let's go ahead and say yes and remove installation media. And hit enter to continue. So let's go ahead and make sure local scaling is turned on. And then we're going to pop this out. Might be a little better. All right, let's log in for the first time. And we get our typical Linux Mint welcome screen we do desktop colors 
And let's go purple. Dark theme. Eh, let's do mixed. Let's do mixed. Uh, system snapshots, uh, multimedia codex, multimedia codex, launch. You want to install Mint Meta Codex? Yes, install. All right, we can do update manager from here, system settings, software manager, firewall, there's documentation, there's help, and option to contribute. So right off, we are going to come down here to the update manager. Say OK. Switch to a local mirror. Yes. And so these are base is Trixie, which is dev.debian.org. And it will do a speed test to see which is going to be the closest mirror or it should be doing a speed test. We're just going to apply that and we're going to continue forward. Okay. So we're going to refresh to see if there are any updates. And we are good at the moment. So from here, we've got a Pretty standard Linux Mint desktop. We can go into settings. And I always like to look at printers. And it did auto magically find my printer on the network, which is great. System info, Linux Mint Debian Edition 7, GG, Cinnamon 6.4.12, Kernel 6.12. So it's a little bit older than the Ubuntu version, which is fine. Uh, it's still a good jump in versions. Uh, it is using X11 and not Wayland. Which is fine. It could be problematic on some newer hardware. But if your hardware is that new, then you are probably aware of some of the potential issues. Right. Okay, so let's take a look at software. It's going to generate the cache. Pretty standard stuff. Okay, so one of the first pieces of software I normally install is Notes Nook. And it is actually available as a flat pack. So we'll go ahead and install this. I do love my notes nook and hopefully in 2026, I'll be able to self host the whole thing. And that would make me even more happy. All right, let's go ahead and launch that. Hey, wow. All right. So I've already got an account. We'll log into that later, but Hey, this is, this is all good at the moment. And we'll close down software manager. We can right click and close notes nook. And we'll take a look at Firefox to see what version we're rocking out on this. And as of today, it's at version 142. 143 was just released, so it might be a few days before that ends up in LMDE7, which is fine because we're still in the beta phase. And just for giggles, we'll open up LibreOffice Writer. And we are on version 25.2.3.2. I'm hopeful that the final version of LMDE7 will have the 25.8 version of LibreOffice, but uh, 
I suppose being six months behind the curve on versions is not the end of the world. You can always install the newer flat pack on your own. And let's just see what we do here. And we've got the dreaded asterisks in the terminal. So we are going to launch Firefox one more time. And we're going to say Linux Mint remove asterisks uh, from terminal. So we're going to move this file Etsy sudoers.d0 PW feedback, and we're going to add dot disable to it. Uh, sudo move Etsy Okay, that's good. We're going to close the terminal and then we're going to open that again. Um, and we're going to say sudo apt auto remove dash y and no asterisks. All right, that is one of my pet peeves with Linux Mint, uh, regardless of version. So we'll close that. I am happy we've done a little bit of customization we can uh, take a look and see customize normal layout that's fine desktop settings I really want to just do the Show desktop icons on primary monitor only. That's fine. I want to change the background picture. There we go. Change desktop background. What do they give us? Wallpapers. This looks pretty good. Hey, look at that. That is a perfectly usable desktop. Not flashy, not in your face, but perfectly usable. All right, let's go ahead and shut her down. All right, everybody, this was a quick look at the install and some very basic customization of Linux Mint Debian Edition 7 GG Beta. I would expect this to be out later this month to mid-October, perhaps, uh, because there's going to be another Linux Mint mainstream uh, release uh, before the end of the year. So 22.3 is what that will be, and I think that's targeted for December of 2025. So exciting news in the world of Linux Mint. And hopefully this will pique your interest enough to take a look or to at least uh, keep an eye out for the full release, which should be happening real soon now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.